Hey there aspirants, welcome back to another exciting episode of technology and news. If you are as fascinated by space as I am, then you are in for a real treat today. Recently, there has been a lot of buzz around something that could revolutionize space operations, which is the reusability of launch vehicles. But before we get into the specifics, let's break it down for everyone. What exactly does the launch vehicles do in the first place? Launch vehicles are the heavy lifters of space missions. They carry payloads like satellites, spacecraft and even space probes from the Earth's surface all the way into outer space. These rockets provide the necessary force and guidance to defy gravity and put these payloads into orbit. Sounds incredible, right? But here's where it gets even more exciting. The reason for all the buzz lately is because of a major milestone achieved by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. They have just completed the third landing experiment of the reusable launch vehicle. It was in news recently that a winged vehicle named Pushpak was released from an Indian Air Force Chinook helicopter at an altitude of 4.5 km. But what is this Pushpak launch vehicle? Let's break it down. Let's take a closer look at this futuristic vehicle called the Pushpak. It's not just any spacecraft. It is a winged launch vehicle with some state-of-the-art features that are built for reusability. So let's start by unpacking the key features of Pushpak that make it so special. Starting with the multi-sensor fusion, Pushpak is equipped with multiple sensors to ensure smooth and accurate flight. The inertial sensor tracks the linear and angular movement of the vehicle. Think of it as the vehicle's GPS system but more precise. It helps the vehicle stay on course even under challenging conditions. Second, the vehicle also uses a radar altimeter which is to measure the altitude or distance from the earth's surface. This is super important because when you are coming back from space, you want to know exactly how far you are from the ground, right? So that is the reason. Another cool feature is the flush air data system, which keeps track of the airspeed and the angle of side slip, which are vital for ensuring a smooth and controlled flight. Without this, the vehicle could lose its balance and veer off course. Finally, to make sure Pushpak stays on track, it uses both a pseudolite system, which is a ground-based navigation system, and NAVIC which is India's very own satellite navigation system. These technologies are essentially Pushpak's eyes in the sky and help guide it during its journey. Now let's understand why Pushpak's design is so game-changing. One notable feature of the Pushpak launch vehicle is that it has an aerodynamic configuration with low lift-to-drag ratio. Well, the lift-to-drag ratio tells us how much lift the vehicle can generate in comparison to the drag which is the resistance it faces when moving through the air. So typically, we want a high lift-to-drag ratio for better efficiency. So the higher it is, the more lift the vehicle can produce for a given amount of drag. But here's the twist. For reusable launch vehicles like Pushpak, a low lift-to-drag ratio is actually ideal. Why? Because when you're coming back from space, and re-entering the Earth's atmosphere at high speeds, you don't want to generate too much lift. Instead, the goal is to ensure a controlled descent, allowing the vehicle to land safely, which is key to its reusability. Next, let's talk about why this latest experiment is so significant. Pushpak just passed a major test that could change the future of space exploration. Let's break it down. The third landing experiment tested Pushpak's ability to land safely under challenging conditions, which include in the strong winds and rough release conditions. This is super important because space vehicles face unpredictable weather and varying conditions during their re-entry. And the experiment also simulated high-speed re-entry. This is one of the most challenging aspects of space travel and Pushpak was able to accomplish it successfully. One of the coolest parts is that the advanced guidance algorithms were also tested which are critical for future orbital re-entry missions. Pushpak also autonomously corrected its flight path and performed a precise horizontal landing right on the center line of the runway. It was like watching a self-driving car but for space. Now after covering the updates with respect to the Pushpak launch vehicle, 
let us now learn about the technology of reusable launch vehicles in detail. So what exactly make the reusable launch vehicles a game changer for space mission? At its core, a reusable launch vehicle is a fully reusable rocket that can be launched, recovered, rebuilt and relaunched multiple times. So no more one time use. Let us also briefly look at the general features of a reusable launch vehicle. One is the two stage propulsion. ISRO's reusable launch vehicles use just two stages to propel the vehicle into orbit. This makes it more efficient compared to the traditional multi-stage rockets. 2. The heat shields. Re-entering the Earth's atmosphere can generate extreme heat. So the vehicle is equipped with heat shields to protect it from burning up during the re-entry. Now comes the most important part which is the working mechanism behind a reusable launch vehicle in general. First, the fuel in the first stage of the vehicle gets used up and the vehicle will shed it to carry on with the second stage. After being shed from the body, the vehicle's first stage will re-enter the atmosphere and land in an autonomous manner at a predetermined location. Finally, after some maintenance, the body of the first stage will be available for reuse. In this way, the reusability of launch vehicles is achieved. This is how the reusability aspect of this technology is made so powerful. In conclusion, let's wrap up with the key benefits of this groundbreaking technology. Reusable launch vehicles drastically reduce the cost of getting into space. Imagine being able to reuse rockets, boosters and even engines. It's like renting space travel instead of buying a new rocket every time. The reusability of parts means less material waste making space travel more environmentally friendly. With reusable technology, space agencies can launch more frequently and more efficiently, accelerating our journey to the moon, Mars and beyond. So that's the end of our video for today. I know this topic was pretty technical, but I tried to make it as easy to understand as possible. If you feel like you need a rewatch or a second round to fully grasp the concepts, please feel free to rewatch the video.